Hello and welcome to APM Designs. This is just a very short tutorial regarding how to put a radius on any sharp corners or edges using Blender software. If like me in the past you've been used to using software such as Autodesk Inventor or any other 3D modeling tool, you might be familiar with the fact that that specific software would have a radius feature which you click on then click on the edge of where you want the radius to be put. Then a pop-up box will appear. You type in a numerical value which represents the millimeters of the radius. Press OK and then suddenly that radius will appear on that edge that you selected. Well, with Blender it works with a slightly different principle. In fact, this modeling feature of Blender, this is what makes Blender quite a very fast modeling, uh, modeling software. And once you get the hang of it, you begin to realize how quick you can actually model with Blender. So in this particular example, I'll be demonstrating how to put radius on a cube, the standard default cube that loads up with Blender. So right now on this computer screen, you can see a standard cube with sharp edges. What we're going to do now is just simply put radius on these edges. Over here on the right hand side where my cursor is at the moment, you see the objects modifier tab. So if you click on that once, then add modifier. And if you go down here to where my cursor is, you see subdivision surface. What this tool does is, this isn't limited to just on the Blender cube. This, is, this will work on any model that you've created on Blender. And if your, blonde, if your model has any form of sharp edges, what this does is it simply rounds off these edges. So if I click here on subsurface, you see that my model has actually become a sphere. Not a very smooth one, but a sphere nevertheless. Over here on the right hand side where it says view, if I select that to number 2, it gets smoother. If I put it up again to number three, it gets even smoother. And I can continue doing that until it gets very smooth. I would recommend not going any higher than three because otherwise it slows down your computer resources and your computer gets slow, sluggish, and it becomes very difficult to model with a slow, sluggish computer. So I would recommend keeping it at three, no more than three. And if you want to make it even smoother, simply go on the left hand side here under shading and click on smooth. So now your model looks like a sphere and it's very smooth. Down here where my cursor is, you can see we're in object mode. Object mode is simply the mode at which it's showing you what your object looks like. In Blender, in order to manipulate, to design, to model, to create your model, you need to be on edit mode. So what we're going to do now is go into edit mode by clicking on where it says object mode here. And you'll see a list. So we go into edit mode. You'll see that you can see the outline of your original cube. Now, what we're going to do here is use on the left hand side what's called loop, cut, and slide. By clicking on this once and then moving your mouse over the cube, you see this purplish plane appear. Now, depending on where you move your mouse on the cube will determine the position of this purplish plane. I want it to be positioned like so. I click once on my mouse, that's left hand click, slide it over to the right by moving my mouse to the right, and left hand clicking again to set it. Now we're going to repeat the process again, but this time slide it towards the left. So loop, cut and slide, get my plane looking at this position, left hand click, move to the left, and left hand click to set it. Now we want to do the same thing again 
but this time we want our plane, purplish plane, to look to be in this position. So once again, I click, left hand click, this time move it up and left hand click to set. Follow the procedure again, loop cut and slide, click, slide down and click. Now we've done it for one side of the cube, we've got to do it for the other side as well. So once again, loop cut and slide, click, move to the right, left hand click to set, and then we just do the same for the other side of the cube. Now a good way to make sure that you've done it correctly is to check here, see where my cursor is, you can see a square on the corner. You can see a square in this corner, square in this corner, square in this corner, and check it on all sides, and you'll see square on the corner, square in the corner, and so forth. And if you've got squares on every single corner, it means you've actually created the radius for every edge of that cube. So if I go now to object mode, you can see that my cube now looks the same as before, except for the difference being that you've got a radius on the edges. So that is how you create edges, uh, a radius on a model using Blender. I hope this has come in handy.